Hey guys, welcome back to Inchworm Gardens. On today's video, I'm going to show you a simple way on how to make your own compost tea at home using a five gallon bucket and a fish tank air pump. Let's take a look. All right, so let's first define compost. Very simply put, it's organic matter such as leaves, grass clippings, food waste that has been broken down, decomposed, and it's now full of nutrients and ready to be used in the garden. The plants love it, the soil loves it. It's just great stuff all around. With compost tea, you're basically making a high strength version of compost, turning it into a water soluble form, meaning the plants can immediately drink it up and soak it up, as opposed to more of a slow release fertilizer that compost is. So the way that you do this, compost is full of microbes, bacteria, good, good stuff that the soil and plants love. When you're making a compost tea, you're increasing the number of those microbes so there's more and they're more abundant more available for the plant to soak up and the way you do that very simple you take a handful of compost put it in a little cheesecloth like this you add a food source for the microbes in this case a teaspoon of molasses you add oxygen with the air pump and what you're doing is creating a perfect environment for these microbes to flourish multiply and after a couple days you get this really delicious compost tea that you can pour right over uh, your plants. You can use it as a foliar spray, meaning you can spray it on the leaves. It's beneficial that way. Or you can just pour it into your soil and everyone involved loves it. All right, so let me break down the different components of this and how to make it. All right, so here's all the components needed to make this compost tea. First, we have our air pump. It's just a simple, basic fish tank air pump. I'll put a description down below to the one that I got on Amazon. You got your compost, you got your molasses, which is the food for the microbes. You have a bag of some sort, a painter's bag, paint bag is called. This is a piece of cheesecloth. It's just a square that I'm reusing for my last batch. And you got your five gallon bucket and your water. So first starts with the water. Now, most of you would probably just use tap water like I did. The problem with that is tap water is chlorinated. Chlorine kills microbes, the exact type of microbes that we're trying to propagate in this activity. So what you have to do is you have to burn off that chlorine from your water. You can fill up the bucket and let it sit for a couple days, or you can fill up the water, put on the air pump and run it and the oxygenation will help to burn off that chlorine faster. It'll just take a couple hours. So this water, I already did that today, so it's ready to go. The air pump, so the components of this, just so you see, there's uh, two holes here, and that basically just pumps out air. When you get this, uh, this particular one, it comes with the tubing, comes with this, two of these little things called a check valve. That's so air goes in and water does not come out to, uh, hurting your air pump. That's what that is. And two little things called air stones. These are just like granite uh, porous, stones that the air comes out of. So you get two of those, you get one of these T connectors, um, which is pretty much everything you need, but I did have to buy three more additional items, which is another T connector. This one just happens to be metal. And two more air stones. These are four inch air stones. Does the same thing, pumps out. This is where the oxygen comes out of. So first I'm just gonna show you how to assemble this, very simple. You have your pump, uh, you, the tubing is just, it's like a six foot piece, so you have to cut it into these pieces, but it's very simple. I thought I might need to get more tubing, but this had enough in it, it's totally fine. So you have your piece of tubing, check valve, down to a T uh, splitter thing, to two more tubes to the two air stones. And that just goes into one of these air ports here. And what this is going to do, this is going to go in the actual bag of compost. So the oxygen is right there, right on the compost, doing its thing. And then you're going to have two more air stones at the bottom of the bucket, sending oxygen up. So again, you just connect. Uh, this is just a long piece with another little T splitter. So you connect that to the air pump here. And on the end of this, you have your two air stones. So you just connect those. All right, and there you go. That's your whole pump system right there. All right, so let's put in the compost. 
All right, now the compost, I cheated a little bit and you can totally do this, it's totally fine. Uh, the compost that I showed you earlier, it's not fully broken down. It's not fully aged, it's, it's still in the process. So it's not the best stuff to use. You want well-aged, decomposed, really good compost. So I went out and got some local uh, compost from a local nursery here. It's a mushroom compost, it's really good, stinky in a good way. <laughs> all right, so uh, you basically got a couple handfuls here. So here's all we're gonna do. So I'm just going to pour this out into this bag here. So you got a nice little bit. Ooh, try not to spill it all over yourself. That's why having like a, a paint bag would be better because you can just dump it in. Here I have to kind of make a little satchel, but that's fine. That works. So you just make it into a nice little tea bag just like that. Okay, now before I tie it up, I'm gonna place these two stones right in the bag, just like this. There you go, see? So we have the little tea bag with the two air stones right in there, making good contact with that compost. And then just tie it up. There you go, ready to go. So that just sits right in the water, just like that. Then you got your other two air stones and those are gonna go in the bottom. Of the bucket, just like that. Okay, so next thing to do is plug it in. I don't have a, uh, electrical outlet right here. So I'm gonna take it back up to the porch where I had it before. And then we'll add in the molasses. You know what, let's just do it now. So this is unsulfured molasses. I don't know why that makes a difference, but that's what it calls for. Uh, I think I said teaspoon earlier, it's a tablespoon. Honestly, I don't think it makes much difference. It just needs a little bit of molasses. This is gonna act as the sugary food for those microbes. Got a nice spoonful of that molasses. Dump that in there. Give it a good stir. I think the first time I did it, all the molasses just kind of sat at the bottom. So this time I'm getting down there and stirring it up. All right, let's go plug this in. All right, there we go. Everything's plugged in. It's already starting to bubble. So you're basically just gonna let it sit just like this for about three days. And you'll notice after each day, you'll get more and more bubbles forming on the top here. If you saw at the beginning of the video, it was real bubbly, kind of foamy. That's good. That's what you want it to look like. Got all those microbes and bacteria working together, doing their thing. So keep an eye on it. But in about three days, you got some awesome compost tea. Feed your plants, feed your soil. It's all good. Hope you learned something, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.